Hi, I'm Mateo and today we got the Halloween part 2 update in Pet Simulator 99. With that came some exciting new content that we'll go over in this video including a free to play Titanic as well as some other goodies. And if you wanted to know the odds for that free to play Titanic we also have that so we'll be talking about that in this video as well. And by the way if you want to win a free signed huge from me make sure you join my discord because I do daily signed huge giveaways over there. It's absolutely free to join and link will be down in the description below now without further ado let's get right into this update all right you guys so i'll try to make today's video pretty short because there really isn't that much content there's only five things that we need to talk about but some of them are obviously pretty big so starting off with number one on this list is going to be the addition of some new halloween upgrades and keep in mind all of these upgrades are only going to be valid for the length of the halloween event but in last week's update we got access to these six upgrades here but then in this update today we got these three upgrades starting off with stronger pets in halloween world so this upgrade allows your pets to do more damage basically and then the next upgrade is a better trick-or-treat loot so i'll show you the trick-or-treating in a second but basically this just buffs the loot that you get from it so far personally it doesn't seem like i've gotten anything crazy from it so i don't think this is too big of a deal now by far the most important one is going to be this better titanic hatch chance this this upgrade goes up to a plus 20 percent so if we upgrade it go ahead you're gonna need quite a bit of candy in order to buy this but you should be able to get that pretty quickly make sure you go ahead and get this before you afk and open that final egg now number two on this list is actually going to be the addition of these ghost face gifts now these ghost face gifts actually drop just from regular breakables so this is the first time in a while that we haven't had some sort of currency that it it takes to actually make the gifts out of a machine like the uh candy corn gifts over here for example so yeah you could get these ghost face gifts just from breakables in this world and on top of that you can also get them from the trick-or-treating that we'll go over in a second so when you go up to the doors and actually knock and get the items you can actually get the ghost face gifts from that now inside this ghost face gift you can actually get a bunny mummy that's the huge that's in there and then it also says you can get high tier potions and enchants if you let the little loot table go through you can see the top level enchant and potion you can get is just tier six so i don't know why they say high tier potions but anyways moving on to the third thing on this list is actually this final egg so as you can see here we have a titanic hatch counter that counts how many of the titanics have been hatched so far because there is only a limit of 500 of these titanics that can be opened in this event and according to Copycat on Twitter, there's actually a 1 in 666 million chance of getting this Titanic pumpkin cat. And honestly, you guys, that is pretty good for a free to play Titanic, especially if they are expecting 500 people to get this Titanic. That's actually a decent amount of free to play Titanics to be given out. I would definitely go ahead and make sure you get that upgrade that I just showed you and hatch this egg for the duration of the week. Because as you guys probably know, there aren't that many opportunities to get free titanics in this game so you might as well take advantage of it while you can now on top of this free to play titanic there's also this free to play huge that's in here called the huge abomination now copycat says that this huge is a 1 in 16 million chance which is also a pretty decent chance for a free to play huge you don't need any sort of huge hunter game pass or anything to be able to get those odds so this egg is most definitely going to be worth opening for this weekend at least and then if that wasn't enough they also included the active huge pool in this egg which is pretty insane so you essentially have a chance at two huges and a titanic by opening this egg so like i said you guys this is a very good opportunity for you guys and it is pretty much completely free to play now this chest over here actually was part of the update before but this time around it seems like it has more health and i'm still not sure what it drops really i can go ahead and destroy it here just just to show you guys a little sneak peek. 
So as you can see, that was pretty much the loot. I could see, you probably couldn't see it very well, but don't think there's really too much different about it. But let me actually show you the trick or treating now. So keep in mind that each of the three new areas that we got this week have their own little neighborhood that you actually have to unlock by completing quests in the previous area. So if we head inside the spider neighborhood, we can actually enter using one of these Halloween masks. So once you're inside here, there are going to be a number of doors. There's eight Eight total doors and as you can see when you knock on the doors you're gonna have a chance at getting one of those huges and then on top of that you also get like a couple items sometimes it's just one item like this time and basically what you're gonna want to do is just go to each door and collect all of the stuff but there is a chance that one of the doors is a nasty surprise like that where the door surprises you and kicks you out now these are the items that you actually need in order to enter this area you can just get them from drops from breakables so when you destroy breakables in the final area you're going to be getting these dropped for free but they are actually tradable as well so you can go to the trading plaza and buy a bunch if you want to continue trick-or-treating but if i enter again you can see on the right side here where it says spider neighborhood it says my next quest is to knock on eight doors in one run so the difficulty in this is that we actually have to not get a trick door until the very last door so obviously that is going to be very hard to do especially with the world completely glitching out like this constantly my first quest was to actually come into this world eight times so this one is a different quest and i actually have not been able to do it i've tried doing this so many times now but once i'm able to actually complete all of the quests in this area that means i will unlock the neighborhood for the next area and by the way every single one of these different neighborhoods have a different huge we'll go over that in a second though but like i said you can get the huge tarantula from the spider neighborhood if we come over here you can get the huge reaper cat from the grim reaper neighborhood and then finally you can get the huge vampire dragon from the vampire neighborhood all right so really quickly one more thing that i found out about these neighborhoods and the trick-or-treating itself is that you know how it takes one mask to get in this first neighborhood it's actually going to take you two masks to enter the second neighborhood and then we could only assume that once you reach the third one it's going to take you three now obviously this isn't a very big deal at all but one thing i did want to note that i forgot to talk about is that if you are playing playing the game consistently and you are logging in anyways you might as well go ahead and try to get these huges from these later neighborhoods because to be completely honest there's not going to be that many players that are actually going to be doing this mini game so if you do go ahead and do this and get very lucky and get one of the huges from this third area or even the second area there's probably not going to be too many of these two huges that exist so therefore those huges are probably going to be worth quite a bit of diamonds so it might really be worth it if you are playing the game as you guys know a lot of people don't actually go ahead and engage with these mini games and stuff so you might as well take advantage of this and i thought that'd just be a very good value for you guys so it's just one thing i wanted to mention really quick so if you want a chance at getting one of those huges you're gonna have to complete all the quests from the previous neighborhoods i think if the neighborhoods weren't so bugged out for me i think it'd actually be a kind of decent concept for content for this week but just because of how buggy it is it is kind of hard to enjoy the neighborhood trick or treating but yeah you guys that is pretty much it that is five total new free to play huges that you can get in this update as well as one free to play titanic with three of those new free to play huges being in these neighborhoods one being inside of that ghost face gift and then finally the last one being here in the final egg now personally i'm just going to be opening this final egg that's all i'm going to be doing because i can't really be bothered doing the trick-or-treating but let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about the halloween part two update and if you think we're going to have a chance at getting one of these titanics there's already been six hatch at the time of recording this so i'm not going to waste any more time and i'm going to begin auto hatching for this titanic good luck to you guys and thank you guys so much for watching hope to catch you in the next one and peace out.